Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to build a DIY LED whip antenna. And there's a couple other tutorials. I'm going to show you what I use and what I really like to use more than anything. So let's get started. First, we have a Wilson CB antenna. This is not just a regular CB antenna. As you can see here, this is the Wilson Flex. Four. You're going to also need the LED RGB kit. And the last thing you're going to need is the uh, heat shrink tubing for tools. Only thing we're going to use today is a pair of scissors and a heat gun. And let's get started. So the first step we're going to do, and this is a grounding wire for a CB antenna. And we're not going to use this, so we're going to go ahead and clip it off as well. This package here that I'm putting together costs about 40 bucks. The only thing you need to do is whatever you put, intend to put this on, run your power into the controller here. Inside your LED kit, you have your controller and you have your remote control. This is your LED kit. This is five meters of weatherproof RGB. Weatherproof means You've never opened one of these before here. It has a, like a clear coating across the top right here. Let's see if we can get you zoomed in there. So here we got the, the LED here and that's what the weatherproofing looks like. What I like to do is get the antenna started. I usually like to leave three or four inches off the bottom. And what I like to do is on the antenna itself, you see how it's got the, um, the inside of the wire that's wrapped around the antenna there. I like to follow that pattern. So we have the uh, antenna done. We have done wrap the entire antenna with this LED. Um, I use two zip ties, one at the top, one at the bottom, to hold the LEDs to the whip antenna. I like to wrap mine tight, and I've already busted through the uh, waterproof LED in a couple different spots, and that is one reason we're going to cover this entire whip antenna with the clear uh, heat shrink. So next, just grab your heat shrink. This is a little difficult to do, and what I mean by that, because the heat shrink comes pretty much flat like right here, you have to keep bending it out in order to slide the antenna in. So take your time, it will go on. All right, so here we go. We now have the antenna wrapped with the uh, heat shrink on it. We have the antenna cover on the very top. Last time I got a one inch uh, regular size heat shrink. This time I got a three quarters of an inch. So it's gonna be tighter along the antenna mass once we heat it up with the heat gun. Okay, we got the heat gun plugged up. Something to remember, the LEDs are sensitive. So don't use too much heat in one spot. You could ruin the LED or damage it. Uh, so that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. There we have it. The LED whip is already done. Now we just need to plug it up and test it. And uh, I use this whip on my golf cart for going to different campgrounds. And when you're riding around at night, if you look across the far end or the long end of the golf carts, you will see where my golf cart is. And um, appreciate you watching. There you go. Mm -hmm. 